Same outfit. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and on this episode, we will be sharing with you how we traveled halfway across the world with our 10-month-old baby from the Philippines all the way to Europe and this is how we did it. So, I wanted to share with you guys, we wanted to share with you guys kung ano yung mga bagay na natutunan namin on how to travel long haul with a baby in the middle of the pandemic when it's just the two of you. Wala kaming yaya, wala kaming um, kasama na family namin, wala kaming friends, no nothing, and... We survived and we are thriving. We spent an entire week in Madrid and now we're here in Barcelona. So all in all, mula sa pag-alis ng bahay, it was around 25 to 26 hours. Mm -hmm. It was like a 9-hour flight from Manila to Dubai, a 3-hour layover, and then Dubai to Madrid was another 8 hours, 9 hours. Um, and there's a time difference of, I think, six hours na ahead ng Manila ng six hours. So, like, we were in three different time zones in less than 24 hours. It was crazy, but we made it. So, here are some of the things that I learned from research and personal experience. The first one, make sure na lahat ng mga requirements, papeles, tickets, all of these things na ayos yun na bago pa kayo umalis ng Manila. So for example, we were landing in Spain. And sabi sa akin ng travel agent, oh wala ma'am, QR code lang yan, yada da da da. Tapos naisip ko, ay sige, doon ko na dadalhin sa Spain. Tapos parang ako, being the girl scout that I am, sabi ko, I will already fix this before we leave Manila para i- Kasi buhat ko si Liam, diba? So, so tuturo ka na lang kay Wancho na, Oh love, ito yung bigay mo, ito yung pakita mo, yada, yada, yada. Para hindi kami nahihirapan na mag-scour kami, diba? So, nung chinek ko, hindi na pala pwede si Wancho pumasok <laughs> ng Spain. <laughs> diba? Paso na ang aking uh, uh, vaccine. Yeah, so, his vaccine has been... Hindi na nila ina-accept sa Spain, basically. Okay pa naman yung vaccine niya, pero hindi na nila ina-accept sa Spain. So, what happened was, I had to figure out, okay, ano yung options natin? Yung pala pwedeng RT-PCR. Yeah. So, nagpa RT-PCR siya and, you know, we solved the problem. Imagine if, pagka-land namin, after traveling for 26 hours, dun pa namin nalaman na, ah, hindi ka pwedeng pumasok ng Spain. Yeah. That would have been crazy. So, have all of those things ready. Ang ginawa ko, um, chinek ko yung mga requirements. Uh, Iba-iba kasi per country. So, you have to check that. Um, make sure you have all of the requirements. Print them out. And just be double prepared. So, meron akong album na sa phone ko. May copy ng passport, tickets, everything. And I also have them printed out. Which has been very, very helpful. Kung hindi pa kayo nakakapag-PCR antigen, meron sa Naiya Terminal 3. Doon mismo. Sa part ng Jollibee area. Sa departures. Mm -hmm. So, meron din... Hinalap mo ba doon? Hindi, <laughs> din nakita ko actually nung nagbabayad ako ng travel tax. So, malapit sa travel tax okay. yun. Okay. Number two. Try not to overpack. <laughs> that... <laughs> If we can talk to our uh, past selves okay. last week, please do not overpack. Sorry, Swancho. And, and ito ah, leave space in your maletas. Don't fill it up. Yeah. Please don't fill it up. That's so true. Okay, I don't think we need to expound on that. Just don't overpack. The, like, the rest of the stuff you can buy here. Like, you can buy when you travel yung mga diapers, wet ones, sabon, extra clothes. Pwede naman kayong bumili. But just have extra space in your luggage. Because I feel like 60% of our stress is just pushing the stuff and like, 
putting everything in the maletas and figuring out how to carry the maletas and the stroller and the baby and all of these things. And yun nga, maglaba-laba na lang kayo para mas makatipid din kayo at para hindi kayo mapagod ng mag-pack at mag-unpack at mag-pack and unpack. Yeah. Bawal na kayo ng mga couple of options. Siguro two to three options. Mga and, planes. Planes, neutrals, always a good idea. Yeah, Classics. Yun yun. Pwede ka naman bumili ng mga t-shirts dito or jackets kung nandito na kayo. Pero importante, you don't fill up your maleta. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Number three, for traveling with a baby, one of the best advice that I got was to get an Airbnb. Oh my gosh, when when we were planning this trip a couple of months ago, I was looking at hotel rooms in nice hotels because I was like, it's a family trip, first time ni El Yang out of the country, we should go all out and get a nice room at the Waldorf or something. Di namin afford yun, pero like something like that. First time in two years. Yeah, we deserve it. We've been working so hard. But I read this comment from one of the mommy groups or was it a blog or something that said get an airbnb with a living room because when the baby is sleeping and you're in a hotel room you guys will end up tiptoeing around him and it's just not gonna be fun and parang sinabi dun sa blog na yun na alam mo when you're traveling with a baby wala kayong nightlife so mm-hmm. for sure yung nightlife nyo nasa nasa bahay lang kayo nasa airbnb lang kayo so at least meron kayong space to have date night pwede kayong mag-wine pwede kayong makakain makapagkwento makapag-vlog katulad nito nang hindi kayo takot na magigising si baby so look <laughs> Tulog lang siya sa kabilang kwarto Uh-oh. at hindi siya nagigising kahit nagsasalita kami. So, Airbnbs are so good because one, there's space, separate sleeping space for the baby and separate adult space for the parents. Um, two, it also recreates home life for the baby, for El Yam, and we found it so helpful. And three, makakatipid kayo. Kasi kami, ang ginawa namin na plano, para makatipid, nagluluto kami ng breakfast in the morning, and then pinapanap namin si Liam ng one solid nap at home bago kami mag-explore the rest of the day so that makatipid na kami, hindi pa sobrang exhausted si baby because of course, the baby is your number one priority. Ang bigay namin sa inyo is go business class if you have a baby. Uh, it's if you have the budget it's yeah, uh, expensive it's expensive but it's worth it because lalo na sa sa ano sa pagkakulit ni Liam na gamit niya talaga yung space around and it was a 24 hour flight halos uh, sobrang dami naming mga maneuvers with Liam Joyce was also breastfeeding uh, we needed the, the space to lie down and to make him sleep. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, I got that uh, idea from my best friend Hannah who flew in from New York to the Philippines for our wedding and she was just like, girl, so mong hirap na hirap ako. We should have bought business class seats na lang. Or kung hindi man business class, premium economy or buy the seat with the extra leg space because that will really help you get extra space if you can, if you're traveling with a baby, is to make sure that you prioritize their well-being. What does this look like? Um, I find na ang hirap makahanap ng baby food in restaurants. So, mag-grocery kayo ng pagkain or mabawang kayo ng pagkain and lutuan nyo siya ng mga gulay or snacks that you can bring around when you're traveling and doing the tours in the afternoon. Yesterday, I just, I boiled, I steamed some broccoli tapos yun lang yung snack ni Liam. You know, I buy him mga bread, ganyan, para healthy pa rin yung nakakain niya. Make sure that you're schedule is not filled to the brim with tours after tours when you're traveling with a baby you cannot travel the way that you used to which is for me sobrang explore ako everything yeah. like i would f- do everything in the city but you can't do that anymore so kaya matagal kami per city one day magto tour pahinga the next day one day magto tour pahinga the next two days ganyan yeah. tas isa sa mga nabasa kong magandang advice is um, if you're going around doing the tours, make sure that you do something that's also for the baby. So that looks like going to the park so, you know, he has space to crawl around or, you know, resting or sleeping in the Airbnb. Hindi yung nap niya palaging 
on on the go. Dapat means meron at least isang nap na solid na nakahiga siya na nasa bahay para hindi siya pagod na pagod at hindi siya natutulog lang palagi na nasa stroller o ng buhat niyo. So, mm-hmm. make sure you prioritize that um, instead of your own things because when you have a baby, yeah. they come first. Also pala, bring medicine. Bring medicine. That's yeah. very important. Kung like, sabi niyo yung opinion niyo about it, they would know uh, what to bring and yung mga emergencies. Just like dito sa Yurut kasi, kailangan mo ng reseta. Yeah, even, even for, for, cold, for medicines. cold medicines. Last tip that I would like to give you guys is always check the weather. Kahit na yung kinabukasan or yung day after so that you can prepare for yourself and for your baby. Accordingly. Alright guys, that's it for this vlog. Sana na-enjoy nyo at sana madami kayong natutunan. Watch out for the next few vlogs as we tour you around Madrid, Barcelona, Paris, Zurich, Lucerne, Milan, and Rome for the next few weeks. We're gonna be staying here for a long time. Vamos Trevinos is finally taking off and we are traveling! <laughs> That's it for this episode. Bye!